There are gonna be a lot of primaries necessary to reshape the Democratic Party. There are still many awful Democrats holding elected office around the country. And coming on now to to talk about 15 of those Democrats is Norman Solomon, author and political activist. Norman, welcome to The Damage Report. Thanks a lot. It's great to have you on. You have your bad blues report detailing 15 different Democrats. Can you tell us a little bit about how you put this together and what the overall goal is? Yeah, we really analyzed at rootsaction.org, who are the Democrats in Congress? Who are some of the worst who are basically supporting the military industrial complex and Wall Street? And we looked at when there was a disconnect quite often between their base that was voting for them and what they're actually doing in Washington. So we sifted out and as we say in the introduction to the report, which was released just hours ago at badblues.org, there are many more than 15 Democrats in the House that should be primary. So this is illustrative rather than exhaustive as a list. And ultimately the power and the change has to come from the grassroots. Exactly, and I wanna get into some of those examples, but I am curious before we get into particular individuals, what are some of the common threads that, that tended to land someone on your list. I mean, is it are we mainly talking about uh, them being bought and and thus you know taking positions on issues like war, regulation of Wall Street, and things like that? Is this basically a story of of campaign finance? Well, it's who's paying them and who they feel indebted to, who they're serving. And uh, in all of these cases of the fifteen uh, that we've uh, earmarked for primarying, and many others, unfortunately, in Congress, there's a tremendous affinity and service to, you might say, Joe Biden's career on a smaller scale that has been serving Wall Street and shafting Main Street. You know, one of the most striking things as we did the research was that there were so many people, some of whom made it on the list, in Congress year after year, often decade after decade. And they're fighting to undermine the economic and social well being of the people they supposedly represent. So, as you said, these 15 are illustrative. Who's the most illustrative of that 15? Who are some people that you'd like to focus on? Yeah, well, it was stiff competition for some of the worst who ought to be primary. Certainly, Henry Cuellar in Texas. He's a Democrat in name only, had. Uh, voted with Trump more than half the time, first two years of the Trump regime. But there are also people who are not that well known nationally, like Derek Kilmer, who represents part of Tacoma and the Olympic Peninsula in Washington state. Uh, most of his adult life, he's been an elected official. He's now 45 years old. He's been in Congress for a few terms, and he is now the chair of the so called New Democrat coalition, which is sort of a nice way of saying uh, we serve Wall Street, we serve the big military contractors, we shaft people on surveillance issues and shredding uh, the Bill of Rights on surveillance and Fourth Amendment and so forth. And Kilmer is a guy who uh, has really risen very fast. And so uh, we, I think, need to spread nationally more understanding uh, of the extent of the problem. Because you have a lot of people who've built their careers, their sort of individual cottage industries that have expanded to be part of the whole Wall Street apparatus. And they're extremely dangerous. That's why there are so many people, so many students, millions who owe so much to these profiteering credit card and financial services industry sort of outfits. So it's a comprehensive problem. But again, the solution is for us to be more informed and to mobilize at the grassroots starting early. It's not an impulse item to run against these folks. It's difficult, we need to start early, and we gotta be very serious about it. You know, it's interesting that you mentioned Henry Cuellar because actually earlier on the show, we had his challenger, Jessica Cisneros on. If anybody watching missed that interview, it's available on our YouTube channel. In terms of these primaries, I know already anyone declaring a primary challenge is getting attacked by the DNC and related groups. I doubt that that's going to change anytime soon, but at least in 2018, we did see some significant primary wins that have left us with some of the people making political news every single day, including today, Ilhan Omar and specifically in terms of primaries, AOC. Do you think that the experience of 2018 is making it easier to have action on the, the sort of list that you just put together? Absolutely, it's encouraged a lot of people. It's clear that 
uh, among the 15 uh, who we outline as very appropriate to uh, defeat uh, to primary uh, who are incumbents, several of those folks are facing primary challengers who I believe are clearly inspired by AOC, by Presley in Massachusetts, and as well, of course, by Ilan Omar and Rashida Tlaib. These are people who are showing that it can be done. And the mass media, the corporate media have tried to implicitly and explicitly convince us that, oh, you can't do it. Uh, you can't uh, say that the emperor has no clothes and then hmm. uh, send the, the king packing. But we're doing it and we've got to be more methodical about doing it much more widely and effectively. Hey, if people would like to see this full list, where can they, where can they see that? Everybody's invited to go to badblues.org and certainly to share it because uh, you know the corporate media won't do it, but uh, we're gonna do it through progressive media. Well, Norman Solomon, thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully there will be primary challenges for those 15. We'll try to interview them here on the show and we appreciate you joining us. Great, thanks a lot. Thank you for watching this clip from The Damage Report. For more content from the show and access to TYT Network members only exclusives, go to tyt.com slash Brooke. Wait, no, it's tyt.com slash John. Go to tyt.com slash John to sign up.